in this chapter quadratic equations following topics are to be studied quadratic equation solution or root of a quadratic equation to find the solution using middle term splitting method or factorization method this is used in polynomial chapter also complete the square method and quadratic formula these are three ways to find the solution of the given quadratic equation in all these quadratic formula will be faster and apply and applicable in every type of quadratic equation <coughs> at the last we will study nature of roots now quadratic equation an equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0 you know that this is a quadratic polynomial and if we put quadratic polynomial is equal to 0 then we get quadratic equation for example 3x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 9x square minus 1 is equal to 0 this is also a quadratic equation with b 0 now represent the following situations mathematically john and jivanti together have 45 marbles both of them lost 5 marbles each and the product of the number of marbles they now have is 124. We would like to find how many marbles they had to start with. We have to find how many marbles. So they together have 45 marbles. Let John have x marbles then Jivanti have 45 minus x marbles. It is said that both lost 5 marbles then John has x minus 5 and Jivanti has this minus 5 that is 40 minus x marbles it is said that then the product is 124 then we have to multiply these two numbers so after multiplication this is 124 now we make RHS 0 to convert it in quadratic equation because in equation in the equation RHS is 0 so after a simplification we have this equation we take minus 1 common to make coefficient of x square positive we multiply both sides with minus 1 which is the required representation now let us take next example a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day the cost of production of each toy in rupees was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day on a particular day the total cost of production was 750 we would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day so we have to find the number of toys produced on that day here it is said that the cost of production of each toy was 55 minus the number of toys produced in the day and the product and the total cost of production is 750 
so let the number of twice produced on that day be x then the cost of each twice on that day according to question 55 minus x and then total cost see what is the cost total cost is number of twice and the and multiplied with cost of one twice so total cost of production on that day is equal to x into 55 minus x according to question the total cost of production was 750 so we write it as 750 from here after converting it into quadratic equation we get this result this is the required representation check whether the following are quadratic equations you have to check it so we have to simplify it and during simplification our motto is to make rhs zero then we have this equation which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c so it is a quadratic equation now see here here again we have to simplify and we have to make rhs zero then we get x plus 12 is equal to 0. This is not in the form x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So this is not the quadratic equation. Again we have this one. We have to simplify it. We make RHS 0. Then we get this one. This is a quadratic equation. Now here. Here you may see that after simplification we have this result and this is This gives us this equation which is in the form of quadratic equation. Now solution of an equation. Solution or root of an equation is the value of variable for which the equation is true. Here we will discuss root or solution of quadratic equation. And it will be same as the zero of quadratic polynomial. So. Find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factorization method. 0 of a quadratic polynomial is the root of the corresponding quadratic equation. Now this is our given quadratic equation. Now we have to think two numbers whose sum is minus 5 and product is 2 into 3 is 6. Now we have to think two numbers whose product is positive and sum is negative. It is possible if both are negative. So we start with minus 1 into minus 6. Here sum is minus 7. So rejected. We proceed. So we take minus 2. So minus 2 into minus 3. Their sum is minus 5. So we split it as minus 3x minus 2x. From this we take common x. We write this one here 2x minus 3. Now we think to which 2x is multiplied to get minus 2x. Answer is minus 1. So we write minus 1. After simplification we have the roots x is equal to 3 by 2 and 1 now next find the roots of this 6x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 in the same way we proceed and we get the roots x is equal to 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 2. here we have to think two numbers whose sum is minus 1 and product is minus 6 into minus 2 minus 12 so we write uh, two numbers such that sum is negative and product is also negative this is possible only when one is positive and another is negative and bigger number should be negative so that sum is negative so we write 1 into minus 12 here sum is minus 11 2 into minus 6 here sum is minus 4 3 into minus 4 here sum is minus 1 so we take minus x as minus 4x plus 3x minus 2 now next question is Find the roots of 3x square minus 2 root 6x plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Here in the same way we have to think of two numbers whose sum is minus 2 root 6 and product is 3 into 6 6, 3 into 2 6. 
so we have to think two irrational numbers so that sum will be minus two root six and we have to think both negative so that sum is negative and product is positive now we write uh, this as uh, minus root six x minus root six x after writing root six x as root two into root three so that we can take common root three three can be written as root three whole square here root six is root two into root three two is root two whole square from these two numbers we take root three x common then we have root three x minus root two here we write this one here then we think to which number root 3x is multiplied to get this one so answer is minus root 2 so we write minus root 2 here now this this converts into the form and after calculation we have x is equal to this one here the same root is obtained now second way there one can may also solve this question in this way one can write it as uh, root 3x whole square this has root 2 whole square now a square minus 2ab plus b square this can be a minus b whole square and finally we have the roots a prayer hall has a carpet area 300 meter square with its length 1 meter more than twice its breadth find the length and the breadth so let us take breadth as x meter and it is given that length is 1 meter more than twice its breadth then its length becomes 2x plus 1 meter now area is 300 meter square so multiply these two to get 300 after converting it into quadratic equation we have this one 2x square plus x minus 300 we have to think of two numbers whose sum is 1 and product is 2 into minus 300 that is minus 600 now we have to write possible factors of minus 600 and in such a way that sum is positive and product is negative it is possible only one one is positive another is negative but bigger one is positive so minus 1 into 600 here sum is 599 minus 2 into 300 here sum is 298 minus 3 into 200 here sum is 197 so minus 4 into 150 we skip some numbers and then go at minus 10 then we have minus 10 into 60 here sum is 50 minus 12 into 50 here also sum is not 1 here sum is 38 but when we divide minus 600 with minus 24 we have we have 25 so this was this was this these are the required numbers here the sum is 1 so we write x as 25x minus 24x then we proceed as previous way and we have x to the values of x minus 25 by 2 or 12 but x is not equal to minus 25 by 2 because the breadth is non-negative we have taken x as breadth so x is 12 and then we get length is equal to 25 Hence, the length and the breadth are 25 meter and 12 meter respectively. So, the way is to convert the word problem in mathematics and get a quadratic equation. Then, use factorization method. Now, solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square method. There are two ways this is our quadratic equation with a is not equal to zero so dividing both sides with a which is coefficient of x square we get this one zero by a is zero now this can be written as ax square by a plus bx by a plus c by a which is equal to zero here x square plus b by a into x and c by a is transferred to right side here Two into this one multiplied and divide this. This term is multiplied and divided two. So we have two x into b by two a is equal to minus c by a. Now we have 
x square plus 2x this is our y so we have to add this square to both sides so we have on adding both sides this square that is b by 2 a whole square on both sides we have this equation now we can see that x square plus 2xy plus y square so it can be written as x plus y whole square here its square is b square by 4a square and after simplification we have the lcm 4a square after dividing it with a, a get minus 4a get 4a and multiplying minus c with 4a we get minus 4ac dividing this with 4a square we have 1 so multiplying b square with 1 we get b square and we have b square minus 4ac by 4a square this is this can be written as plus minus a square root of b square minus 4ac whole square this can be written as 2a whole square here, here plus minus both are written because we know that the square of negative number is also positive here we take negative number its square is also positive now we have to find x we have to find solution that is the value of x so we take a square root on both sides so that we can get x from here we have x plus b by 2a is equal to plus minus a square root of b a square minus 4ac by 2a now we transfer this minus b by this becomes minus b by 2a on rhs lcm of 2a is 2a now above we have minus b plus minus a square root of b a square minus 4ac this is our x there is also another way the another way is we can multiply both sides with a to get this one and we have a square x square a b x a c is equal to zero now we have uh, this one this can be written as this is a x whole square and here we write two this one is our x this is our x so we have x 2x now we have to find uh, y so this one b we divide it with 2 so we have to multiply this term with 2 and divide it with 2 this is our y now we have to add y square on both sides see on this step there is confusion there should not be confusion whatever the coefficient of x you have to multiply with 2 and divide with 2 from here you can get what is x so here and rest one uh, this is 2 this is x rest 1 is y so we add this square on both sides it's a square on both sides so we have ax whole square plus 2x into b by 2 plus b by 2 whole square minus ac plus b by 2 whole square now this one is x plus y whole square minus ac this is b square by 4 now from here this by 1 lcm of 1 and 4 is 4 and here we have minus 4ac plus b square by 4 here its square is this one now it can be written as the square of this term taking a square root on both sides we have this one as this after transferring this one b by 2 to rhs we have this one and from here taking lcm here we have 2 and minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4ac on transferring a to this side we have x is this one let us do a numerical question question 1 find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by completing the square method here the way is uh, we use dividing both sides with the coefficients of x square so after dividing both sides with 2 we have this result and transferring constant to other side we have this one now we have to convert it into 2ab form so we divide and multiply it with 2 2 into here is x so we have to write we have to write y and y is 5 by 2 in divided by 2 
so this one is y so this is 5 by this is x square this is 2 this is a now we have to x square minus 2 x now we have to write y for y we have to divide 5 by 2 with 2 right this is the way way is we have to divide the coefficient of x and multiply it with 2 now adding y square on both sides we have x square minus 2xy plus y square now this can be simplified to get one by sixteen, and this one is converted into this form. Now we taking a square root on both sides. One by sixteen can be written as plus minus one by four whole square. So here we have uh, after taking a square root on both sides, x minus five by four is equal to one by four or minus one by four. So x is equal to 1 by 4 this becomes positive so plus 5 by 4 or minus 1 by 4 plus 5 by 4 after simplifying we have roots 3 by 2 and 1 now what is quadratic formula this is also Sri Dharachari formula Sri Dhar Acharya He was an Indian mathematician. For a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus a is equal to 0. Where a is not equal to 0, we have x is equal to minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. It is obtained above. Now find the roots of uh, 5x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 using quadratic formula. What is to do? We have to do we have to write a b and c now we have to convert the equation into the form x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then we have a 5 b minus 6 and c minus 2 and b square minus 4 ac is 76 now we have to put the value in the formula to get x so we put uh, the value of b b square minus 4 ac and a to get this one and after factorize 76 2 into 2 into 19 1 2 comes comes out so we have 2 into square root of 19 and 2 is common so 3 plus minus square root of 19 10 is cancelled with 2 we have 3 plus root 19 by 5 or 3 minus root 19 by 5 these are the 3 roots find two consecutive odd positive integers sum of which square is 290 see here two consecutive odd positive integers so if we take one x then another is x plus 2 because two odd positive consecutive integers are at the gap of two numbers so let the two consecutive odd positive integers be x and x plus 2 here it is said that the sum of which square so a square of this and this which sum is 290 we write this and we convert it in the form quadratic equation so we have this one and here 2 is taken common so that simplification becomes easier and we have a1 b2 c minus 143 now we find b square minus 4c this is 576 and x is this is our quadratic formula after putting the value of b b square minus 4ac we know that a square root of 576 is 24 we have plus 24 here minus 24 here after calculation we have uh, 11 or minus 13 but in the question it said that the odd positive numbers are positive so we take 11 for x then x plus 2 is 13 hence the odd integers are 11 and 13 now let us take next question a rectangular park is to be designed whose breadth is 3 meter less than its length its area is to be 4 meter square more than the area of a park that has already been made in the shape of an isosceles triangle in the shape of an isosceles triangle with its base as the breadth of the rectangular park 
and altitude 12 meter find the length and the breadth so the way is we have to let the breadth uh, x meter it is said that length is 3 meter more than uh, breadth so we take uh, length x plus 3 meter so area of rectangular park is it is rectangle length into breadth so we have area of rectangle x square plus 3x now in the question it is mentioned that the base of the triangle is same as the breadth of the rectangle so area of the isosceles triangle is half into base into height base is x and height is it is given 12 meter so we have area area of triangle this is area of triangle now according to question area of rectangle is 4 meter square more than area of triangle so we write area of rectangle is equal to 4 plus area of triangle now x square plus 3x is equal to 4 plus x now we convert this in the form of quadratic equation and we have x square minus 3x uh, minus 4 is equal to 0 now here we get a1 b minus 3 c minus 4 we find b square minus 4 which is 25 now we put the value of b b square minus 4 is it and a in this formula to get x 4 or minus 1 but x is breadth so it is positive so we take x as 4 then x plus 3 as 7 hence the length and breadth of the rectangle will be 7 meter and 4 meter respectively find the roots of the following quadratic equations if they exist using quadratic formula 3x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 x square plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0 2x square minus 2 root x plus 1 is equal to 0 first we have to write a b and c and then we have to find b square minus 4 ac and then after calculation we have roots x as 1 and 2 by 3 Now second one is x square plus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. Here we have a1, b4 and c5. Here 1 is hidden. Then we take a, we find b square minus 4ac which is minus 4. Then we write x is equal to minus b plus minus uh, b square minus 4ac is minus 4a. And we write this as, we may write here a as 1. 2 into 1 but a square root of minus 4 is not real as there is no real number which a square is minus 4 hence there is no real root for this equation here 2x square minus 2 root 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 2 root 2 c is equal to 1 then we have b square minus 4 c which is equal to 0 after putting the value of b b square minus 4 c and a we have this one after calculation we have 2 root plus 0 by 4 2 root 2 minus 0 by 4 so 2 root 2 plus 0 is a 2 root 2 so 2 root 2 by 4 or 2 root 2 minus 0 is 2 root 2 so 2 root 2 by 4 we have root 2 by 2 here repeated roots are occurred hence the roots are root 2 by 2 or and root 2 by 2 now let's turn next question solve x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 x is not 0 here x is not 0 because here we cannot take x 0. Now we have to convert this equation into the quadratic equation. So we have this form. Here one thing is noticed that which cannot be solved using factorization method. You may try a is equal to here a is 1, b is minus 3, c is 1. Then we have to apply quadratic formula now we get b square minus 4 c is 5 which is not perfect square so we can say that if b square minus 4 c is not perfect square then we haven't the solutions using factorization method therefore x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 c and we have roots and they are irrational so whenever b square minus 4 c is not perfect square then we have irrational roots and they exist in conjugate pair means middle sign is changed here plus here minus 
Hence the roots are 3 plus root 5 by 2 and 3 minus root 5 by 2. Now nature of roots. See roots nature depend on the nature of discriminant. For the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, roots are given by x is equal to minus b plus minus a square root of d by 2a, where d stands for discriminant which is equal to b a square minus 4ac. Now b a square minus 4ac will be positive and perfect a square, then two distinct rational real roots are obtained. If b a square minus 4ac is positive and not perfect a square, then two distinct irrational real roots are obtained. If d is 0, then equal real roots occur. If d not 0, that is d is less than 0. If d is negative, then no real root occurs. Let us see why so. If d is positive, then we have x is equal to minus b plus root, root d minus root d. You may see that these two numbers will be different because here root d is added in minus b here root d is subtracted from minus b so they are real but different but if it becomes zero then we have on adding zero to minus b there is no effect so we have x is equal to minus b by 2 or minus b by 2a but if d is less than zero we know that root, root d is not real in that case root d is not real and x is equal to minus b plus minus a square root of d by 2a is also not real hence no real root occur find the discriminant of 2x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 and hence find the nature of its roots here we write a b and c and then find b a square minus 4ac here it is negative then we can say that no real roots occur. Now, a pole has to be erected at a point on the boundary of a circular park of diameter 13 meter in such a way that the difference of its distances from two diametrically opposite gates A and B on the boundary is 7 meter. Is it possible to do so? If yes, at what distances from the two gates should the pole be erected? See, in such type of questions, we have to find discriminant. If discriminant is real, if discriminant is non-negative, then solutions are possible. Then solutions are real. Then the situation is possible. Right? So, see, this was the question. We have a circular park and two points A and B, they are gates which are diametrically opposite. We have to erect pole such that uh, the distance, the difference of the distance of the pole from A and B has 7 meter and the diameter of the park is 13 meter. So AB is 13 meter and AP minus BP is 7 meter. Now we have to tell is this possible. So let BP is equal to X. Then AP. Then according to question AP is equal to BP plus 7 which is equal to X plus 7 meter. Angle in semicircle is right. This implies that triangle APB is right angle. So applying Pythagoras theorem. X square plus X plus 7 whole square is equal to 13 square. After simplifying we have this equation as quadratic equation so the quadratic equation is x square plus 7x minus 60 now we find d d is 289 which is positive so it is possible now we find x x is uh, minus b plus minus a square root of d by 2a on putting the values of a d and a we have x as 5 or minus 12 but x is the distance so it will be non-negative Therefore, x is equal to 5. This implies that x plus 7 is equal to 12. Hence, the distances of the pole from gates A and B are 12 meter and 5 meter respectively. Now, 
find the discriminant of the equation 3x square minus 2x plus 1 by 3 is equal to 0 and hence find the nature of its roots. Find them if they are real. See here a is 3, b is minus 2, c is 1 by 3. Then we have to find d and if d is here we get d is equal to 0. Here we get d is equal to 0. This implies that roots are equal and real. Now we put the values of b, d and a in the quadratic formula to get x as 1 by 3 or 1 by 3. Hence the roots are 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. Next question is find the values of k in the following quadratic equation. If it has equal roots, then what is the way to do it? We have to find d and we know that if uh, roots are equal then d is equal to 0 we get d is equal to 4k square minus 24k roots are equal this implies that 4k square minus 24k is equal to 0 on taking 4k common we have 4k is equal to 0 or k minus 6 is equal to 0 from here we get k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 6 but a is k so it cannot be 0 according to the definition of quadratic equation so k is equal to 6